Kim Charnley and myself are careers advisors for Calder Glen High. Recently we held an event for continuous professional staff development on developing Scotland's young workforce. On the day, we had many employers and a presentation followed by workshops. I was asked by Jill and Maureen to maybe give you just a brief overview of different routes and pathways, both in school and after school. The aim of the whole day was really to link employers with the different faculties within school. Hi, I'm Stephen Clark. I'm here from the Menfil Item Company, based in East Kilbride. We're part of the pharmaceutical industry. Hi, my name is Sean McDermott. I'm here representing QA Friendship today. I'm here to speak to teachers and inform them about the apprenticeships that QA can provide, encouraging more young people to go into apprenticeships. We're here today to have a discussion with some of the teachers to try and lean on my experience on recruiting people into specific roles within my industry. Hi, I'm Jill Dodds. I'm um, a people support manager here at Calder Glen, but I'm also the Development Scotland Young Workforce Lead in the school. Has anybody ever heard of the Millennials before? I can see a few people nodding. The Millennials is the next generation workforce. I think it was really important to organise the event for staff to really raise awareness in staff what developing young workforce is all about. It's about creating a, a new modern young workforce, making young people more employable and it's down to subject teachers to do that um, and make their subjects relevant in terms of skills development. They alongside parents have so much influence over the decision making of our young people and we need them to understand the changing labour market and how the new qualification structure fits within that. 50% of young people don't choose to go down the uni route, they choose a vocational pathway. So it's how are we creating opportunities for young people in school to access vocational subjects, um, to make sure that they have a wider accreditation um, and that they're leaving school as skilled as possible. I think one of the big feedback points was staff had no idea the different apprenticeship routes that were now available for young people. Um, and it, what they thought a modern apprenticeship was isn't necessarily true and I think that's the message we need to get out to parents as well, um, that there are different entry requirements for different types of modern apprenticeships. Most people still think of traditional trades when they're talking about apprenticeships like joinery and bricklaying, but there are over 80 frameworks um, from warehousing, car mechanics to quantity surveying, civil engineering. The main thing I think that lots of staff really became aware of on the day was just how little that actually the employers really stressed qualifications as such. Yes, of course, they said that in some cases qualifications are important. Hi, my name is Maureen Choi, I'm a project manager with BT. The qualifications is like their passport to get the interview yeah. in the first just place. That is really, yeah. and it's like you say, it's what, how, how strong their appetite is to get there. They really stressed the importance of soft skills such as communication, being able to work as part of a team. Again, just going back to the basics, it's just about attitude, it's about turning, it's, it's just the basics from school, turning up to school on time, mm -hmm. being positive when you're here, working hard when you're here and even just getting that message across yeah. that your qualification is a passport to your next mm -hmm. stage because if you don't get the qualification you won't even get the interview, <clears throat> never mind to prove yourself once you're actually in the interview stage and that's where you come over your personality, your communication. They wanted young people who were really motivated, were really interested and can demonstrate that interest, a bit of confidence about what they were letting themselves in for. How did they come across? Did they come across they could look you in the eye? And, and th there are some people who and maybe get um, autism, Asperger's, like things on, on different spectrums that they maybe mm -hmm. can't look you in the eye, but there, there's different ways of kind of understanding whether somebody's engaged or not or whether they're just looking at the book and they really couldn't care less what you're saying and they didn't really want to be there. So, like, it's all about their behaviours. I think it's important to make the Developing Young Workforce document come alive within the school um, and we're actively doing that by looking at our skills development in young people um, creating opportunities and really highlighting what employers are looking for and, uh, and making employer engagement a part of our curriculum. We are looking for employers not just to come in and do workshops but to really get involved in delivering aspects of our curriculum and helping staff develop resources, um, 
and give young people experiences and that's what's came of the event. Um, some of the feedback from s staff was that employers were offering opportunities for staff to go out into industry which they can then bring back and make a real life context lesson because they've had that experience. One of our teachers took a group of kids um, doing entrepreneurship so it was spending lunch times with them about running their own business and being self-employed. Mm -hmm. The kids that went and the, there was a lot and the, 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 there were kids with good attitudes but a wee bit success came easily to them. Mm -hmm. But it was really, really interesting how they started to ramp up their game and they did very well in their final exams, so maybe pushing from a B to an A mm -hmm. because they were getting from those mm -hmm. sessions that application of actually in the real world I will use this or I will be able to, or here's an opportunity to raise my game. And that's what, where it's really important. We also had um, employers willing to come out and work with pupils. Um, but again, curriculum delivery, not just speaking to them about opportunities for them, but really letting them see where subjects tie in with real life work. And particularly in senior phase, and particularly boys, we're noticing if you could get them motivated in terms of careers, in terms of a goal, in terms of I really want to do that, you're more likely, or they've got an idea of, of, of a possible route forward, they're more likely to get the qualifications and then listen to the things that they need to apply. There's some people at this age know what they want to do, others don't, and I think that's the hard bit at this age, is if they don't really know what to do. So I think as they get older, they're saying, well, you know what, I should really have done this because that's what I want to do. But I think they see the world of work is so far away. Hi, I'm Alistair McKinnon. Hi, I'm Simon. Uh, we're from CrossFit East Kilbride. My name's Graham Tate. Um, I'm a trainee solicitor at McRoberts LLP. My name's Paul. I'm from Grant Thornton. Um, they're an accountancy firm based in Glasgow and Edinburgh, but it's also UK-wide. Since the event, lots of the employers have maintained contact with the different faculties, staff going out to industry, employers coming into school and doing workshops with young people, so that was a real successful you know, part of the day. A lot of the staff said, 89% of the staff said, that they felt a lot more confident in giving careers advice um, in terms of future pathways within their subject areas as a result of the event, which was fantastic. In terms of developing young workforce's future within Calder Glen, it's about enhancing the employer engagements we've got, really embedding them within curriculum. Um, it's about creating new employer partnerships always, we've always looked to do that, that's not something new for us at Calder Glen, this has been going on for years. Our leavers destinations at Calder Glen are really high and it's something we're really proud of and I believe that that's a factor of our partnership working with employers, with SDS um, and all staff working together in the people support team and that's something that we will strive to work towards is to make sure that we continually have high leavers destinations. Um, positive sustained destinations for our young people through partnership working.